Thrasher's Paradise. I am Dakota, and today we are going to be reviewing the new album from the band Shadow Cult. The self-titled Shadow Cult, it's a phenomenal album, came out in 2019 and is almost 100% produced, written, and all the instrumentals done by Martin Breton. You can catch this song on Spotify, Amazon Music, iTunes, or Deezer. Now, this song, album, sorry, is phenomenal. Uh, from front to back, it is a roller coaster. I love it. I got away feeling with pure ex excitement and enjoyment every single time that I listen to this album. The way that I'm going to be breaking down the review is I've got my little notebook here, and it's got a rating from 1 out of 10 of each song, and then I've got an overall album rating. So, we're going to start off with the first song, Ritual. Now, Ritual was the first song and the opener, and is a fantastic song. Uh, it's got this cool operatic opening where he's kind of hitting his low end of his vocal range, and it comes in with these drums and this dun 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 sounds fantastic. The entire song feels very cinematic feels like you are in a movie and it is beautiful about 3 30 there's a heavy like guitar gallop kind of almost like gojira and it goes in with the double kick and it creates this really heavy little head banging area and then the vocals come in the vocals and the guitar at the end of the song battle it out and it is phenomenal i cannot stress this enough if you're going to listen to this album i suggest listening it from front to back it's fantastic so I'm going to give Ritual a 7 out of 10 stars. Moving on to Awakening. Awakening is the second track on this album and it's a very cool song. It starts at the end of Ritual. You can't really discern the beginning and end of Ritual. It kind of sounds like one track. Does that for a lot of the songs on the album. And it does it well. Now this song has this really cool double kick and a really catchy riff that it's not its not going to be the heaviest thing you've ever listened to, but it sure as hell is going to be one really cool song. Um, he's got melodic little interludes between spoken word verses throughout the middle and end of the song that are pretty neat to listen to. And then at three, uh, three minutes in, there's this little tremolo part that kicks in and gives it a really cool atmospheric break. This song, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 on my rating scale. So moving on to the song Brotherhood. Brotherhood is the third song on this album and it spends the first minute kind of building into the rest of the song. Does it well. Um, the entire song it kind of sounds similar to intense folk metal and if you like the folk metal stuff um, you'll know that it's very unique um, this album and this song doesn't really sound like anything I've heard this is just the closest comparison I can give um, it is amazing and then at three minutes in he comes in with this brutal little dissonant breakdown and me being a deathcore guy, I really like dissonant breakdowns. Um, this is a fantastic song, and again, for this song, I'm going to have to give it another 8 out of 10. Now, moving on to the fourth song on the album, Solitude. Solitude is a little break between the first half of the album and the second half of the album. It's a instrumental song and it's all piano it is beautiful there's not much to say about this song other than it fits in incredibly well with the album and it really does its job effectively and it keeps the tension between both parts of the album i'm going to give this song a 10 star rating i really like this song i really like this album moving on to the next song oath now oath keeps a piano intro throughout the beginning 
to the rest of the song. Um, it feels a little bit slower compared to the rest of the album, but it's really good. The entire song has very rhythm focused riffs. It keeps its heaviness throughout the entire song. In the middle of the song, there's this wicked guitar solo that comes through and then it finishes with a piano. And again, I cannot stress this enough how much I love this album. I'm going to give this song another 10 out of 10 stars just for how much I like the song and its creativity. Moving on to the last song on this album, this song is called Hope. This song is a very different feel from the rest of the album, and it is phenomenal. This song is my favorite song. Um, if I had a scale to go higher, it would go higher. Starts off with this piano coming in, and it's this very beautiful melody, and then the acoustic guitar. This is a relaxing song, and it has a softer feel, but it is a phenomenal song. Here's a little clip of it. It's a fantastic song. That is the last song and it cuts out and ends the album with perfection. This song, of course, is getting 10 out of 10 stars. This album is a masterpiece from start to finish. And I was very generous with my star ratings and that is not for no reason. It is an amazing album from front to back. I don't have any real complaints about the album. Um, he did a fantastic job and I'm always happy to support the Canadian metal scene. If you guys want, go check him out. Um, Shadow Cult, he's on Spotify, Amazon Music, iTunes, and Deezer. And honestly, I have to give this entire album 8 out of 10 stars. Um, it's a fantastic album and I cannot stress this enough. Find the album, listen to it from front to back. It is phenomenal. It is a journey and you will walk out of it feeling like you just seen the most beautiful vision you could have ever seen. It's like seeing an angel. You won't be able to comprehend how beautiful and how amazing this album is. I'm Dakota from Thrasher's Paradise. We're out.